Okay, now we're going to start off flashing this 4-inch foam wall window opening. So the basic concept that we're going for is everything is getting flashed to the surface of the foam, outside surface of the foam, which is going to be the primary drainage plane. And as you can see from this furring, it's going to be a strapped cavity, strapped drainage cavity to go into. So the first step we're going to do on the sill of this is to put in a sloped piece of clapboard. You can see this is a beveled piece of clapboard. Pop it in place, flush it up, and just fasten it down. So the idea is we're creating a pan that's going to be sloped to the outside to drain any water that's going to come in or drain out of the window. Okay, the next thing is we're going to install the pan flashing into this opening. We got our prefabricated pan flashing once again, and let's all scope out to fit the opening. Normally, the instructions call for uh, dri driving a fastener all the way through here, through here to keep it in place and then flat taping this connection closed. However, in this case, we're going all the way through four inches of foam, so it's kind of overkill to drive a six inch screw just to hold on a piece of plastic. And also, this is going to be pretty secure once the rest of the flashing and the window is in there. So I'm just going to temporarily tack it in place on the vertical leg with a staple. That's one. Work. And that's two. And then just going to make the connection here at the lap joint. So we're just going to take care of quickly wrapping the jam before we install the window. Just with another piece of flashing tape lapping over both the outside and form an L-shape to the inside. And the idea at the bottom is that it laps into the pan flashing. So any leakage that occurs past the window on the side should be able to drain down into the pan. Okay, next we're going to set the window. Before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about the shim that we're putting in here. The idea is we have a beveled sill to drain the water, so we want to have a setting block that will give you a nice flat surface. So this is yet another piece of Azek, the uh, Puff Poly, Poly PVC, I think. Uh, so you can see the angle matches up to the clabber that we got to create a basically flat surface. Two blocks, drop them in place, and we'll go ahead and set the window. A bit to you. Okay. Good. I'm in on my side? Yep. Cool. I got the window if you want to shuffle the blocks around. I think we might be a bit high. Okay, so we've set the window. We're just going to put in one fastener and tack it in place. And you'll notice that since we got four inches of foam here, we're going to need these ridiculous six inch screws to actually attach the window flanges. Am I lucky today? Whoa! That's preset. Okay, just for finishing off the details for flashing this window, we're gonna tape on the outside at the, at the flanges. So we're first gonna do the jams, and then we're gonna do the head lapping over it. And you can see down here that it comes down far enough to lap over the pan flashing. Not a huge deal, but it's kind of nice. Alex, you want to grab that side? We're coming, lapping over the edge of this maybe about an inch or so. 
And the one last step is we want to add a lick of tape across the truck. The problem is with a lot of these self-adhesive membrane flashings is that they are suffer from low angle shear problem and they will just start to droop away. So we're using some of this tape just to prevent that from happening. An alternate detail for the head is to reg light into foam, basically cut a groove into the foam and to have a piece of sheet metal uh, protruding out of it to shed the water. Okay, you got a flashed opening. 